Stephen Sprouts. But now, two years later, he's back, picking up where he left off. We went to his comeback party in New York. Hipper than hip New York designer Stephen Sprouse's personal style is tailored more from rock and roll than fashion. When he first burst upon the scene in 1983, punk rock and 50s and 60s influences turned up in his graffiti prints, cut-out mini dresses, and day-glow colors winning him instant acclaim. But only two years later, Sprouse was out of money and out of business. Well, I think he, what he did was build a house and didn't put the foundation underneath it the way he needed to because they, he had instant fame. The second he was, we put him in that fashion show, by the next hour when I went to the fashion show after that one, everybody was saying, who's that boy? Who's that Stephen Sprouse? And everybody just, you know, hooked on to him and he didn't really have a chance to put a foundation under his business. So he kind of, you know, went away for a couple of years, got the foundation with Andrew Kogan and his uh, co-chairman and now he's back in business with a vengeance, I would say. I mean, I think Stephen was an exciting force at a time when things were very staid, and Stephen's brought that back now, and that's important. So they're relieved to see Stephen back. I need help the door. <laughs> New York's fashion followers jammed into the official opening of the new Sprouse store in Soho. The party attracted both the famous and those who wished they were. I'm very glad to see him back in the scene. I feel, um, feel I've been out of the scene for a little while and I know how good it feels to be back and I, I wish him all the luck and I congratulate him as well. Helping get Sprouse through the past two difficult years has been his friend Deborah Harry of Blondie fame. He's been making the singer's clothes for five years now. information on him that uh, he has to make clothes for me. Yeah, make clothes for me. Oh, no, if I tell him, it's no good. Give him some shit, One celebrity missing, but who most likely would have been there, was the late Andy Warhol. Yeah, look, and here he is right now. <laughs> who worked for... Who worked for Debbie and Andy. I wouldn't be here. I mean, I wouldn't have gotten there. Known to be a bit of a recluse and to shy away from the spotlight, Sprouse is letting his business partners do the talking. Stephen should be what he is, and that's it. And I think it's great the way he is, and you don't need to do anything else. The clothing that's important, and the whole atmosphere, and that's it. The key is the clothes that Stephen designs, and they're incredible clothes. And so, if the consumer likes the clothes, and the retailers like the clothes, that's what's the most important thing. The thing that's great about Stephen is the most important thing is the quality of his fabrics. Like, this is beautiful. The fabrics are the best quality. And he's taking classic pieces like this classic camel coat, and he adds his twist to it, which is Stephen, just to add safety pins on the cuffs, which is very important um, thing that he does. And just to take, like, a double-breasted 50s coat and feeling and have it be neon yellow or do a camouflage jacket, or coat, rather, but do it in really bright colors. I mean, that's such a wonderful sense of humor that he has, which I think is very important in fashion, which I think a lot of people miss sometimes. I'm definitely getting a coat. <laughs> it's different from everyone else. Uh, the colors are real nice and bright. Interesting. I only like the black stuff. Only the black stuff. I like just uh, became a fan of his about when he was in business before, and uh, this is actually my least favorite of the collections. I think it's a little more commercial than the others. the store is doing well. The first week saw $150,000 in sales. This time around, with firmer financial backing, the X in Sprouse should stand for solid success.